Hello, my Muslim family. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love, the Church will promote unity in the body of Christ. We covered a video by Dr. Ebo Damina where he was talking about Pastor E.A. Adeboye, you know, and we covered a lot of videos about this. Um, you will see them when you just scroll down our content. So we all know the story where he was opposing him about this issue of drinking tea with God, you know, where he made some of these comments. I will only honor men who honor him. I teach good here. I forgot to ask what brand of tea it was. So we can all start drinking that brand. Per adventure, God may join us to drink. So that's what he said. So I woke up to some of the video suggestions which you have been, you know, you sent to our telegram. It was just over there, you know, when the video was beginning. I think you saw that link over there where um, Bishop David Oyedebo said this. <laughs> is just off, corrupted, defied, virus. Transference is impossible without a pure heart. If you must have said something I don't understand, but I've never found him wrong. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I've never found an error. You know, you may say you are a doubt. You are a doubt. I'm, I'm happy to be doubt. I'm here to find one thing to pick. I can't find what to pick against Baba Debuye. My heart connected and the flow kept flowing. Over to you. Can I tell you this? There is no source of grace that you draw from that will ever depend on you. No! Let your heart be pure. Let your heart be right. You know why our success has not been trapped? It's success through truth. Application of the truth. You don't succeed by tricks in the kingdom. If you do it for a while. May your heart be right this morning. So you had the bishop, which now brings us to, you know, what this channel stands for. I've been seeing, you know, a lot of people will be saying that, you know, unity is not possible and all those things. So I'm just going to be sharing with you positions of different ministers. So it's going to be mainly um, four ministers. So I'm going to be listening first to what one of the sons of Apostle Arame says. Tell you in a bit to unify the body, let the true and the fake join hand together because we are all pastors. Let the sanctified and the unholy join hand together. Just love each other. Then you, you join your hands with with Jezebel. So that's his position. He's saying that, you know, there are some people who are fake, so we can't join ourselves to people who are fake. Well, uh, to some extent, I agree that there are some people who are outright fake. We know that they are source. It's uh, mainly the devil. Everything they do, it's not of God. All right, we get that. But on the flip side, there's no minister under the sun who is perfect. All right, no minister who you can say that they get everything right. You understand? Which brings me to this issue uh, where Apostle Aram has said this, and I would like you to actually pay attention. How many of you were part of student union when you were on campus? Union is not unity. All right. Well, let's pay attention to this particular point. Please don't miss this. There's a certain place that I don't, I decided, not God, oh, me, I decided that I would not preach here because of several things that happened. So a preacher came and invited me from there. In my heart, it was already no. But I said I should ask God. And God approved. And I was wondering why God did not honor my, my desire not to preach until I now went for the invitation and I saw that we had the same God and that he had gone to our God and asked him, bring that man. Even though I did not want to go, I found myself there and I found a brother. Did you get that dear hearer or listener or like a supporter of our page? 
or just a person, you know, who just comes here to criticize. The apostle is saying that he had some certain issues with a particular minister. Maybe it's something he had on social media or something he had from certain people and he chose to distance himself from that particular individual. But God later spoke to him that this person was real. You understand? So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but yes, these things, you know, that's why I always say that we should not be quick, you know, to judge some certain people until you meet them, until you interact with them. Maybe you can then have your own reservations, but let's not be quick to judge. So let's listen to um, also another minister. But this one was was once mentored by uh, Apostle Arame. He shares a different position on this issue of unity. Let's listen to what he has to say. There are levels of transformation that you will never have except as you embrace the fellowship of the saints. This is why we can't coexist except as there is patience, except as there is forbearance, except as there is tolerance, except as there is understanding. And as we begin to master this fellowship, we will now migrate from gathering together. We will now come into one accord. Luke 24, 49. Gather together. Acts 1, 14. They were in one accord. One accord now is not the building that keeps you together. Gather together requires a building. To be together. But one accord is fellowship without wars. At this point. Our minds have become one. We think alike. We pursue one goal. Heard what the apostle said right there. Okay. So let's now listen to Apostle Johnson Suleiman. As he touches on the real definition. Of what our page stands for. What real Christian unity stands for. I actually loved this. Uh, you can watch the full video on Celebration TV. Um, let's get into it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll meet you in the next one as always. God bless you. When I talk of unity, how many of you know I'm, I'm always preaching unity? Unity does not mean friendship. When I say let's unite, let men of God unite, I don't mean that all pastors should become friends. There are pastors that can never be friends. Their messages are different. Their callings are different. Their style is different. They can be friends. But that doesn't mean that they become enemies. It's like a family. A sane family. You can have a blood brother or sister you are not okay with. Some of you have brothers and sisters that for the past one year you have not called them. But you are not fighting them. Because you don't want trouble. And you are avoiding trouble. It's not because you cannot give it back to them. It's because you don't know how your parents will feel. Because of your parents. That's what ministry is. Because of this God. Especially when ministry and the calling of God. Our primary assignment is to recruit in more people. You cannot recruit more people when you are fighting the ones already inside. Those who are coming will not feel welcome. So when we say pastors should unite, we are not saying they must become friends. In fact, church pastors who are always preaching unity, they don't invite people anyhow. You only see them invite fathers. Because there are people they know, this is my brother. I'll keep praying for him even when he's wrong. But that doesn't mean that we are now friends. When God said love your neighbor, he didn't say befriend your neighbor. He's saying tolerate your neighbor. There are excesses. When you see them wrong, the first thing that should come to your mind is let me pray for them. So understand the concept of unity. Unity does not mean friendship. Unity means tolerance, forbearance, and praying for one another.